Hi, just a little video today, um, picking up on, on a couple of I've done recently. Um, if you want to see a review of the AeroPress system, um, long story short, I love it, um, but please check out another video. This video is about what I would call the inverted um, brewing method. Um, the traditional one would be that you basically brew um, all in situ, so you're putting your filter, your coffee, uh, grounds and your water in and you're doing it above the cup. Now that is not my preferred method, um, it doesn't give me as much control over the brew time, over the strength of flavour, um, I much prefer what I'd call the inverted uh, method and that's what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so the inverted method basically means that you're going to upend everything, you install the plunger, you take off the cap and then you basically going to make everything this way up, let it brew for as long as you fancy, a couple of minutes maybe, get all that flavour out, get a few more bitter notes but you know that's no bad thing necessarily and then upend it into your cup when you when you feel the time is right. So this method I guess first thing you do is you get your coffee grains, probably about 15 grams in a scoop, first thing in the morning maybe you want to do a scoop, scoop and a half, in that goes. And then you're going to immediately top that up with water so you can crack on and get everything else ready. So this is water just below boiling point. And as you can see, if you're familiar with the system, I've put in much more water than the, the uh, literature would normally recommend. But that allows me to have a stronger brew and basically it, all it means is I'm not going to put so much water into my cup to top it up. So our sap brews, we'll prepare the filter. Um, you might choose to give it a little bit of a stir with this spatula or a, a spoon. Really doesn't matter. That, that brew there. So the next thing is the filter. Now with paper filters, watch any video on YouTube about brewing with paper filters, whether it's Chemex, Hario or Aeropress, people will normally tell you, give it a little rinse through um, get rid of the paper flavour and, uh, and make sure your coffee is as pure and tasty as you, as you can make it. In this instance, it's a critically important that you do rinse it through. So I'll just give it a little rinse over here. The reason why it's so important is because you need it to stick into here. Because you're going to tip this upside down and if it wasn't a little bit wet, a little bit sticky, um, it wouldn't actually well, make your life very hard. So we've let it brew for a moment. I'd normally let this brew for a little while, um, just go about my business in the office. Sometimes it'll be five minutes, so it ends up very strong. I quite like that. Um, pop that on. And then now for the magic, and you do need to be a little bit quick on this. You basically just go up end it into your cup no spillage and just push that through. It really doesn't take any effort to push it through. You can be a little bit more quick than this. Just from experience I know that occasionally you can get a surprise spurt and just keeps your desk cleaner and tidier to take it easy. Okay, so that's done. So you've got probably two thirds of a cup there. You can either top that up with water, hot water in a sort of Americano fashion, or obviously with your, with your milk. Um, clean up the same as usual, very simple. Take the cap off there, and then you've basically got a puck of fairly dry squeezed coffee, and you can just basically pop that into the bin or into your compost without any fuss. Okay, so that's my preferred brew method. If you want to check out the uh, traditional approach, um, I've got a little video on that. Um, or if you want to see my full review of the system, please check out my channel. Um, to be perfectly honest, for the price 
AeroPress, absolutely brilliant product, and I fully recommend it. If you like coffee, if you like um, everyday carry items, pen knives, torches, um, or indeed footwear, denim, that sort of stuff, please have a look at my channel. You might want to subscribe um, and tell me um, how I can improve things. If you like this video, press like. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.